Cucumber Util for Data Table In our previous video, we used this data table class in Cucumber to retrieve the value out from a feature files table. And as we know that the data table class in Cucumber is a type of list of list of string. And retrieving the value out from the collection was something like this. As you can see, we are retrieving all the value out from a data table dot raw using the indexes like the data dot get one dot get one, data dot get one dot get zero. So these are like indexes. For the first one is the row index, and the second one is the column index. So retrieving them is kind of nagging because every time you have to do the code something like this, and if you want to see what is in the index of the second column, then you have to go back to the feature files table and see what is the column for that particular index. So this is okay for a small number of columns table, but what if we have a table with more than 10 or 15 columns, then retrieving value out from them and showing them using these indexes is going to be a cumbersome task. Well, is that meaningful code in first place? Well, not exactly, but everyone used this though. In industry, I have seen many people are using this way of retrieving a value out from the indexes of the table because most of the time within a table, we will not have more number of columns more than 15 or 20 because we can split that with two different steps. So instead of doing that way, we can actually make it even more meaningful so as I said, how to overcome this problem? Is there any solution? Of course, yes. We can write our own custom collections classes and perform the operation by reading the data something like this rather than the one which was only with indexes. So rather this is nothing but this one. You can see that we are using a method called get cell value of Fukumber helper class and we're passing the column name, just the column name, username. And then we are passing in the column name, password. That's it. And you can see that we're retrieving the value out from it. And if you think that our data is laying under the second row or third row, we can still keep on extending this method. But as of now, I'm showing you how to retrieve a value out from a single row using just the column name instead of passing in so many indexes. So let's see them in action and let's make that happen. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. Well, this is the same code which we were working in our previous video. So what we are going to do is we are going to make use of our Cucumber Util class, as I said in our previous video of this course, and we are going to start writing the code for this. So let me expand this a little bit so that you can see this code a little clearly. All right. So again, we are going to write a lot of code in here. The first thing we are going to start with is going to be a collection class. So as I already said, we are going to write our own collection holder, which is going to store the data from the feature file table. So let's create a class and let's call this class name as data collection, right? And then within this class, I'm going to create some variables, something like private string column name. Similarly, private string column value and then private string. Oops, private int row number. So as you can see within our table, we will have column name, column value and row number. So as I said, we can extend this particular method by passing in the row numbers as well. So as of now with the get cell value, I'm just passing in the column name, but the row number you can pass by extending the class, right? So we have a provision out there. Actually, I'm going to create this class within the Cucumber Util class because I don't want to really create it somewhere outside. All right. And let's create a constructor for this. So alt insert and constructor. So it is asking me these values. All right. I'm going to select that. There we go. The constructor is created very pretty quickly. So this is the collection class, which I'm going to make use of. Right. And then I'm going to store all the 
row values of the table within this collection along with the column name so for that I'm going to create a private static dictionary you can see that I'm using dictionary collection this time to store the data collection class along with a string type so the string is actually going to be my column name and within this column name you can see that we have all the collections of data in here which is nothing but the column value and the row number and the column data so everything will be sitting in here right so oops so I'm gonna just create a variable for that so since it is to be private I'm just using an underscore there is equal to new of hash table that's what I'm gonna use right so you don't really necessarily have to pass this it's still legal to pass this way and it says that diamond type is not supported at this language level so as of now as you can see that our language level is going to be 1.5 so if you change this to 1.8 and if you save this you can see that the error will be gone in this cucumber util because this particular feature without passing the type again in the hash table is supported only from JDK 1.8 not in JDK 1.5 I'm just gonna save this by changing the language level there and then I'm going to write most important two methods the one method is going to be converting the values from this particular data feature files into the custom data table and then I'm going to write one more method to retrieve the value out from that particular data table right so we will see them in our next video